I will not buy you a hoagie. Right there. Right there. Can we blame the weather for that? <laughs> We've had a hell of a year with weather. Money's We're been talking. tight. <laughs> We're talking about tornadoes. You're not the first person to do that. Drake did that back in the day. And these guys are going to steal the ring. Bouncer, new attitude, new new Armani. New Armani. <laughs> uh, trying to get a new win against Big C here. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's got uh, Bouncer's got style now. Are you ready? Well, after the loss he sustained the last show, he's got to be trying to make up for it a little bit. Yeah, he um, at his second chance against uh, Anarchy for the Supreme Title, really came close, but just not enough, not enough that on that chance. So and for the second time, Ace trying to interfere in that. Yeah, that was a little dirty. He attacked him after the match, and I think Big C's gonna have to be consciously aware of that. No matter who, if he wins or loses, that Armani may try something after the match, and he may try something during the match. So the ref's got to be aware of that too. He hasn't so far. He's been kind of I don't want to say courteous, but he's been legit about keeping it professional yeah. during the match. After the match, however, that's when they, they well, go at it. Well, that's I think that's part of the reason people get caught off guard. You see this guy managing, and you see that he's not doing anything. Yeah, he just stands there. Yes, and but, so you might you might give him the benefit of the doubt that he's not going to do something after the match. He you know builds a little credibility on that. People forget he's there, and bam, attacks. They're waiting. They're. I don't think Bet Bounce even knows how to start off the match with Big C. I, he's yeah, it's he, he, he's been wrestling the bigger guys, but you know when you talk about big guys, you got to talk about Big C. Yeah, definitely. And I don't, I don't think you can really prepare for oh. it unless you're wrestling him. And C is just going to town right now on uh, Bouncer. When was the last time these two faced each other? I know I they fought remember. in 2005 oh, in a one-on-one. -on -one. I cannot remember if they've had a one-on-one -on -one since. I don't think so. I know they've had a triple match. Yes. I know they had a triple threat match this year with Brian Lynn, but I can't recall any other time that they've wrestled one-on-one. -on -one. So, no, no. Bang. He's going to going to town really on the bouncer. That's and, expected. And Armani's just calmly watching. I think he's learning. Bouncer just wants him to watch and learn. Pretty Taking much, you know, taking him under his wing. Bouncer knows firsthand how hard it is to come up the ranks. Taking Bouncer a long time to get to where he is. Oh yeah. In the ring and status-wise, former hybrid champ, former tag team champ. And, you know, he's got his eyes still set on Anarchy and that Supreme Title, and that's not going to change. Uh, he's going to have to prove something here, though. Stop! 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 All right. He was working on the legs. Oh. Wow. Shades of Dawson right there. Very big knees right to the head. That first one made a lot of impact. I think it might have hit him in the nose. <laughs> Bouncer's just taunting it up now. That's not what you want to do with Big C. I, I learned that the hard way. You, Wrong you, way! Taunt, him, you taunt him up, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be good. <laughs> and you also gotta, you gotta have some mountain gear when you're climbing that, the Big oh, C you mountain. You know that very well. When you climb uh, Space Mountain. You invented the surfboard pin just so you don't get thrown off of him. Absolutely. It's amusing as hell, but uh, it's still not. Not, in, well, not all that effective against Big No, C. not absolutely not. But it's got to be a psychological type of thing, though, really. Absolutely. A couple knees right to the back. Bouncer on Big C. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Nice flip over. Snapmare from the ground. 
Big C is able to hit a lot of moves on the ground that you wouldn't see. He's arm dragged Dave Dawson and a few other guys off the ground. Oh, yeah. You know, he hits that snap mare. Backyard's famous for stuff like that. But. Yeah, it's the length for backyard. It's the size for Big C that's Good able to do power. that. Yeah, because even on the ground, he's got great upper body strength from all that weight. So. Off the ropes, comes back. Ah! Oh! Oh my god! Woo! Big C showing off right there, showing why he's uh, so dominant. And I'm just giving the bird to uh, Mr. Ace Armani over there. What is this? Absolutely turned him inside Nigga, out. Nigga, pull up your pants. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. I like his mama older. <laughs> Damn, bitch. You got served. <laughs> That's you what you grounded. get. That's what you get for fucking riding your pants that long. <laughs> that ass. <laughs> You're grounded. <laughs> you are how old? Your mom. Big <laughs> C's just having fun with it. He, he knows what bouncer's capable of, and he's having fun with this. Knocked under. Oh, Working very on nice. leg again. Dragon knees. Bad. Very bad for Big C's. Definitely is an Achilles heel, so to speak. Oh! Very nice. Just caught the foot. Just clean clock the elbow right to the head. That's a knockout hit. That gives C a minute to, uh, you know, shake off that leg. He thinks C just had enough and was tired of it, or he just he knows people are gunning for his knee, and he takes that personally. And I can't say I blame him. People used to gun from a shoulder. I didn't. I didn't really take that they fondly. Weakness. They, they, they used to be over a weakness. weakness to see it. And this would be a huge win. Oh Jesus! Here and we this go. This is going to be a huge scoop slam. Very, very, very impactful to say the least. Flash him! Uh, uh -oh. People calling for the splash. People love the splash. Oh wow, what a big elbow there. That, that's still All that weight that coming right down on you. One, gotta suck. Two, Absolutely. Three, go. <laughs> no wreck of the eyes. No Bouncer wants to make a statement here. He's gotta hang with the former heavyweight champion, Big C. Two time heavyweight champion at that. Speaking of grading the refs, Big C does not like this ref. Well, he would have really hate the ref in the first match. That's for damn sure. That's for damn sure. We want the TNA ref again. Just forearms and right to the back and then continues to the knees to the face. See, can't like that. Big punch to the gut. And knocked the wind right out of Bouncer. I'm trying, I'm sorry. I'm going to something. I'm going to withdraw. <laughs> withdraw a low blows? <laughs> Possibly. Oh. That, that's definitely got to be it. What he said. Ah, Big C likes doing it. Ah, he's having he fun, man. He's absolutely ah, having fun. And good for him. Ah, absolutely. Ah, oh. Twist the head a little bit. A lot of Bouncer. pressure applied to the neck. Bouncer was reaching up, but he, 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 he couldn't even reach the head of Big C. No matter what he tried. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> I tripped. He, I tripped. He trip splashed him. That's hilarious. He is just, ha he's, he's enjoying toying with the bouncer. He knows bouncer, this is the best bouncer has been wrestling in his oh, yeah. entire career. Oh yeah. So this is an actual legitimate challenge and she likes wrestling, you know, challenges, you know? And the fact that this is his first Especially what, when one on one match in a long time, so Big C's probably enjoying a one on one match finally. Yeah, uh, he had a triple threat match last super card at, uh, at point blank. Uh, Ducked. He, Come here. Oh! oh, then it's not gonna work bounce, sorry. But hey, man, props to Big C though. Uh, he had a big win over CJ Price and Cypher. Double choke slam. Very great ending. Yeah. Man. yeah. Freaking Majin Buu. <laughs> I don't think he's pink. <laughs> Get in his belly. I'm gonna eat you. Bull's gonna eat you. Come on. This bouncer doesn't know what to do. Step up, bouncer. Come on, man. He this is your chance, it. bouncer. I'll throw up. Comes back. Oh. Whoa. He got it. He got it. Major props to the bouncer for taking Big C off his feet. He's on the ropes. <laughs> I think he was caught off. Then there goes the rope. Two. Three. Four. Not enthusiastic. Oh, there we go. Oh. Armani with a cheap shot. You don't see that out of him too much, but he's learning the way of the bouncer. And that's a new attitude, you know, uh, egotistical and, uh, you know, cheap shots. Yep. That's, that's the backyard way, or yep. the bouncer way, excuse me. Ba backyard just had a match, I'm sorry. I want to know what the hell happened to have backyard just turn like this, you know? It's just 
Yeah. Oh, bouncer? Yeah. So you're doing it too now, so I don't feel I don't so bad. They all look alike. <laughs> Aaron looks different. Mm. Well, that's because he dyed the hair. Yeah. We're going to have to dye uh, Bouncer's hair so he looks like Scotty Pippen or something like that. Yeah, that's Robbie. Yeah, that's it. Oh! Big clothesline! And Bouncer's impressed the hell out of me. What? <laughs> She's trying to hook the leg. Wow. Not too many people <laughs> even bother to try to hook the leg, really, you know? So, major props. Leg drop. I admire the fact that Bouncer is just uh, relentlessly attacking Big C here. He's learned his mistake. He was taunting him up after the first time he knocked him down. Yeah. He learned that's a huge uh, mis mistake. You. you know, you can't do that to Big C. Uh oh. The nigga stop! Woo! The nigga stop, as Bouncer calls it. Very popular move. And you know, <laughs> Bouncer's got to be happy if Herman Cain wins the primary for the Republican Party because it's going to be two black guys racing for the presidency. <laughs> and uh, Bouncer's, uh, you know, just shy of main event status like his, uh, his uh, black counterpart, er, Aaron Douglas, who's a tag team partner with Big C. Yep. You know, so... I also wanted to mention, I forgot to do it in my press conference earlier, that uh, I raised the black salary cap. You can have up to five black guys in the league at one time instead of just three. I'm tired of this shit. So, Fair to how many white people now? Uh, there's no ratio. That's just, that's just wrong. Uh, many, oh, Samoan drop. I really thought he was setting him up for his finisher, which I, I got to imagine would not put you away from the ground. They were just going to do a fireman's takeover. No, that was, that was almost like a fire, the fireman's carry, Samoan drop kind of deal. It's hard to tell exactly. You don't really oh, see it. He just threw his ass. C's famous for that. Yeah, he likes he likes doing that. I think he's, he's considering. Uh, uh -oh. Big C stunner. Uh oh. Big C stunner. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. That's it, Matt. DQ. DQ. Armani just not gonna let his buddy bouncer, uh, his mentor there, just you know get get level there. Ringing the bell. Ringing the bell. Aaron Douglas, you're here to stop the beatdown. Big C's tag team partner. Yeah, what up now, motherfuckers? Yeah. Yeah, niggas. Odds, odds are up. Oh, no. Oh. My what? boy, right? My niggas, right? Oh. oh. Uh, sorry, see, none of these are your niggas. <laughs> Damn. What is this? What is this? Uh, what am I huh? Aaron Douglas. You all with, want it. with what? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> No, this is Goddamn Black Panthers. <laughs> this is affirmative action at its finest. This is racist. What the hell am I doing? That's how we do it, son. Bouncer and Armani are now aligned with Aaron Douglas. Those three guys, those three black guys just treated Big C like he was a white woman. Wow. Rodney King payback? Yeah. They're even there. Rodney King's up there smiling. <laughs> Wow. I never thought I'd see the day where Big C got beat down like that. Never. <laughs> <laughs>